month is the Vegas Torino off-road race, the longest off-road race in the United States. 300 entries, vehicles ranging from a million dollars to 8,000 bucks. We're gonna be racing on roads that are raced on just once a year, reaching speeds of 110, 115 miles an hour. And it's my favorite race because it ends in Reno, Nevada, more or less my hometown. I've been racing since I was about yay tall. My dad and my uncle, John and Jeff Holmes, started uh, racing VW Bugs in Baja in 1982. By the time I was 10, 11 years old, I was a co-pilot. I was eager and I just wanted to be hanging out with my dad. And I got my license. And they said, come on down to Mexico. We'll let you drive. And that changed everything. One of my fortes is wingsuit flying. Jump off a cliff and we can reach speeds to 150, 180 miles an hour and it's awesome. But if you get the 500 horsepower that this truck provides, you are at wingsuit speeds for 10 hours. And it is perhaps the most fun that a human being can have. <laughs> Today is a routine test. How is the truck performing? Are the temperatures okay? Are the brakes working fine? Can I communicate with my co-pilot? Okay, perfect. 60% of the entries will not finish the race. So if we drive from Vegas to Reno and we get that finisher's pin, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good day for a race team. We're psyched. Yeah, we want to win. But if we finish, we're high five. Truck topped off. Mark Landersman with 4th Street Racing built this truck from the ground up. It's really his baby. My dad and I might be the owners, but you know, it's it's his race truck. This is also a headlight. Don't let him forget that. It makes a big difference. When you guys drove it, so that's this the other spare. Okay. 20 minutes away from starting the race. Okay. And when you're gearing up, you feel nerves. It's definitely pressure. 15 minutes to the start of this race. At the starting line, we will follow 7269. Mark, Jackson. JT, be safe and have fun, man. Good luck, buddy. Be safe. Have fun. Mark, Jackson. When I get to the starting line, I feel scared because it's dangerous. <laughs> When I think of consequence with racing, I think of high-speed crash and broken neck. I think of third-degree burns, and I think of hitting a spectator. It does happen. You feel nerves. Right? <laughs>